Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. As promised, today's video is about the follow-up of the delivery of our personal items and how we declared the goods to follow with the CBSA, Canada Border Service Agency. If you are new here, welcome to the channel. And, uh, my name is Ruslan Brilenko. I am a newcomer in, in Canada who is uh, sharing my experiences as an immigrant in this beautiful country. So, as usual, after sharing my story, all of the uh, tips will follow by the mid to end of this video. So, stay tuned. And without further ado, let's jump right into it. After about four months of uh, long wait, uh, our freight delivery finally crossed the ocean and arrived in Canada. Wow! It was a really exciting moment for us and I want to walk you through the process of declaring our goods to follow with the CBSA in Ontario province. As our freight company informed us, we had to go to the Toronto Airport Cargo Building 3 to declare our goods. In your case, this might be a different building, so be sure to check the right location with your freight and delivery company. The documents we needed to bring with us included. Uh, first of all, identity documents, of course, either passport or Ontario's driver's license. Then BSF 186A or in short B4A form, as I explained in this video. Uh, next, uh, the document uh, provided by your freight uh, company. Uh, after that, uh, something that was not mentioned anywhere, but it was really helpful to have him with us, which is a detailed packing list. It was uh, really helpful because uh, it helped the CBSA officer to see that all of those um, goods to follow are our personal items. So I would recommend uh, having a detailed packing list as well, if you can, of course. Then either for those on the work permit, the employer's statement and uh, work permit, or a permanent uh, residency PR card, if you are on the PR status. The declaration process itself went uh, fast and smooth with only a couple of questions from the CBSA officer. The most important thing that the officer may uh, tell you is to not even forget to uh, subscribe to this channel and smash that like button to help the YouTube algorithm. It was a big relief to see everything progressing so well and that people who are working there are really nice and understanding. Next, the CBSA officer gave us the declaration form and then pointed out uh, to go to the cash desk uh, where we received a check but we didn't have to pay anything because of our status here. It was literally showing zero Canadian dollars to pay. If you are coming on a study permit or PR, maybe your situation might be different, but it was in our case of the work permit. After we paid zero dollars, uh, we got all of the stamps on top of these checks and the declaration documents, which we sent uh, immediately to our freight company. And finally, in about a week or so, we got our boxes delivered home. Finally, our move seems to be completed. Another important tip I would like to share with you is that it's best to come to those cargo buildings by car. Wow. Because um, they are located within the airport area and then coming there by public transport isn't straightforward and likely you will have to walk a lot inside that area. In our case, we uh, rented a car because I got recently my Ontario driver's license. Uh, but uh, you can either rent a car 
if you have an available driver's license or book a taxi or Uber, whichever works better for you. And that's it for today's video. Uh, I hope it was insightful and helpful for those of you who are or will be going through a similar experience. If you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe to join me on this immigration journey to Canada as I will be posting more insights and tips along the way. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.